You guys are boot camping. I think that's something we've done this season. Talk to me a little bit about boot camp and how important that is, uh, especially this split with, you know, adding Joyo to the team. I mean, boot camp has always been, been very important. Like, you get into the same room, it's really hard for anybody to have a bad mental. And right. Yeah, that, that's the advantage, really. And it's so much easier to go over stuff. Like, after you're done scrimming, you can just quickly, like, go look at something or... Um, yeah, like it's it's so much easier to talk about things and get things done when you're together and nobody can really leave. And also, the only thing we have to do here is like, it's like actual play, you know, like, and it's just yeah. Rocket League everything. So it it's a huge yeah. advantage, and yeah, that's why we do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, let's jump into this then. We had a a, a long day. Uh, we started with fast forward the team that we played in the open quals and and both times that we faced them. Um, now, we have gone to game five. What, what is the feelings around that series uh, to start the day? Obviously, this is the debut event for the new roster. We played the quals, but I think things are a little bit more important here in this main event. So do you think there was any nerves? Do you think what was going on there? Um, you know, I think we could have cleaned that up. So I just want to get, get your take on the first series of the day. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, I think there was some nerves. But also, it's for Joyo, it's like a, a brand new way of playing. Like he comes from a completely different team. So... Right. Whenever both in the qualifying today, like I feel like there was, we know how to, we want to play, but it's like doing it whenever it gets close and intense, and mm -hmm. it, we're still struggling a bit with that, and we gotta see if we can somehow clean that up for tomorrow. But that's just it's it's an adjustment period. But like the positive news is that like when we do have those good periods, we just we are very close. Like the KC series, I was pretty happy with. Um, yeah. I know I'm not really answering your question with fast forward. I'm jumping no, ahead of it, but um, but yeah, it was a, a lot of nerves in fast forward, and we should we should beat them more convincingly. Uh, the KC, I was quite happy with. I thought we played yeah. like we wanted to. We we matched them quite well, and you know we had a lot of balls go crossbar out uh, that could go in on a different day, and you know tomorrow we're gonna hope that 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 happens. Um, and then we just change up whenever like push comes to shove, right? Like last 30 seconds, we kind of forget how we're going to play and, right. and it's very normal for a new team. So we're not stressing too much about it. Um, and then against, um, what was that face against George. George, we had the same thing as against fast forward where we like full control and then we forget it a little bit and then we bring it back and, right. And Luna Galaxy, we obviously started out just like we wanted to, and then we forgot it a bit yeah, again. Yeah. And so it's like a, it's like a, you know, it's an adjustment period where we just need to like figure out how we can do it 100% of the time. And if we can figure that out, we're going to be serious contenders. So you know, we're probably going to spend some time uh, tonight figuring out if if there's something we can change here and now to to get that done. Well, tomorrow I think the big difference is obviously we're in the playoff bracket, single elim, so you don't have that extra life, but. Um, you know, there's always a lot of discussion about the best of seven series adding that timeout. Do you think that that's something that can help you guys, especially as a new team that seems to kind of have, you know, a variety of performances sometimes where, you know, everything is clicking, everything is good, and then we have a little bit of a shaky moment or maybe, you know, um, concede in, in, late in the game in an intense situation, maybe with a miscue or a double commit or something. Do you think that timeout and, and the, the lengthier series could possibly help the squad uh, as we move into this weekend? I mean, against a team like KC, it's like <laughs> – <laughs> it, it's it's a it's a bit irrelevant, I'd say. Um, sure. I, I think generally speaking, yes. Like it is easier. You have more. Like you you have a game to kind of throw away if you start off nervous or whatever compared to a best of five. Um, yeah. So that that can help. But uh, but generally speaking, I'll say no. Like whenever you play like the top four in EU, it's always going to be rough, regardless if it's best of three, best of five, best of seven. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we do have that extra game or extra few games that, that, that could potentially help us. But overall, I say no, it's going to be equally hard as it was today. Right. Fear, any, uh, anything, any burning questions on your end? No, I mean, I think we covered most of, of the matches. So we, we covered most of everything. Uh, the, the story for today was that, you know, the, the top four from EU from the last major they, they all handled business, and they all managed to spread themselves out. So they're going to have to be beaten. Um, you guys played KC, and then you're going to – we're thinking you're going to have to play KC again tomorrow, uh, regardless of how the rest of the results go. It, does it matter to you who you guys get? Like, it's, it all comes down to the quarterfinals to make it into a, you know, a top four for four spots in a region. Uh, does it matter to you guys yet to do it against KC? Do you feel like there's a team that you feel good against of those top four to replace? Because obviously that must be the goal. Yeah, I mean um... – I think um, 
we we honestly feel quite good against KC. I think we 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 want to play very similar rocket league, so you know it makes us both very comfortable, and it it often comes down to like who hits today. Um, so yeah, KC is not too bad, but obviously like we would rather have a, an easy opponent. Like you would you would rather have someone that that you feel like you're just much better than, and not you know one of the best teams in Europe. Um, but yeah, cool. I'll, I'll, go on. Sorry, sorry. Do you of the top four because the the, the top four we made it last time, uh, Gentle Mates, BDS, and Vitality, they all managed to dodge each other. So in theory, no matter where you guys finished, you're gonna have to play one of them. True. Is there one of those? You're saying KC is a good team. Obviously, they are. Um, but you guys played them really well. I actually think that was you know, uh, you guys scored the same amount if you had spread out a little bit more goals. Maybe the whole series goes game five. But is there someone from Alpine, BDS, Vitality, someone else who who you think is not one of those top teams that that you could easier get past than KC? Mm, I mean, it, uh, oh, it's a it's a hard question because it's, we've only really seen it in, in scrims, and you know, if if we go off scrims, I, I'd say that like KC and and Gentlemates are probably our best our best opponents out of those. Um, we haven't actually scrimmed Vitality too much, so I'm not not too sure about that. Um, but no, like regardless who it is, like we we know we can beat them, and we gotta beat them. You know, if it's in the quarters, right. semis, finals, whatever. We gotta beat them, so so we're we're not too bothered about it. Like it's we had a rough day today, but we managed to scrape through, and uh, and tomorrow's a new day, and uh, and hopefully we can come out swinging. Yeah, I, I talked about it um, during the broadcast, but you know the end results can change the storyline uh, completely. Like if you guys go out and win tomorrow, or you know win the event or something, then the whole storyline is like oxygen just needed a moment to get going. So hopefully that yeah. is the storyline we're gonna get to. Oh, it is. Yeah, absolutely. That's the end goal, at least. Like that's why we're here. Otherwise, I wouldn't catch a plane over here. <laughs> well, Snasky, thank you so much for taking some time to chat with us today. Uh, congratulations on qualifying to top eight, and the road to major two continues. Best of luck tomorrow. We're all gonna be cheering on you and the squad. Thank you for taking some time. And and folks, that is gonna conclude the stream as well. So thank you all for uh, chilling with us today and cheering the squad on. We'll be, uh, we won't be live here tomorrow, but they will be playing on the mainstream, of course, twitch.tv forward slash Rocket League. You can catch it there. Thank you all so much, and we'll catch you next time.